This is Peter John with the DX Headlines. This week we will start with a small series about the history of the Telegraph and of Morse code. This DX Headlines has Thor Micro at 72 Hz. Thor Micro at 72 Hz and in addition to that uh, an 8 second SSTV image in the last seconds of the item. Morse code wasn't invented for radio. Early telegraph systems date as far back as 400 years BC where the Chinese wall had a primitive signaling system consisting of fires that could be lit and drum beats that went from one point on or near the wall to the next and so on. Later systems with lights and flags were used. Around the year 800 a message could travel this way over 700 miles which is around 1100 kilometers within 24 hours. Around the year 1600 also artillery shots were used for primitive telegraphy over the Chinese wall. Similar systems were used in Europe also for military communications. For instance the Romans used fires for this. So originally it was not Morse code that was used for early telegraphy systems. The amount of messages that could be sent by these primitive systems was very limited though. This changed with the invention of the flag semaphore that could be used with alphabetic code. Early systems using torches had also a limited alphabetic coding as far back as the year 200. It was probably in the 17th century that alphabetic codes were used on a larger scale. Around that time a system of optical telegraph systems came into use including relay stations which made it for example possible to defend a complete coastal line of a nation from intruders. Europeans however were amazed when they came in Africa and discovered that drum communication systems in use there were in fact a lot faster than the European optical systems. The first electrical telegraphy systems however were instigated because they were essential to be able to run a train service on a time according to their timetables. Those early systems initially also didn't use Morse code. Next episode of the DX Headlines we will tell something more about that. During almost all of this episode we have a data stream at 72 Hz in Thor Micro, just like last time. In the previous DX headlines we also had a second stream which was unannounced at 112 Hz also in Thor Micro. Both frequencies were quite close and only one listener mailed us about discovering and being able to decode this second stream. This is part 2 of a series about the history of telegraphy. Last time I told something about the early beginnings of primitive telegraphy systems. Those early experiments were quite primitive systems that involved the detection of electricity by means of electrostatic deflections of biological materials such as the medullar tissue of certain plants or watching the creation of bubbles caused in an acid solution by an electrical current. The first experimental system that worked over a substantial difference was conceived in 1816. When offered to the British Admiralty the system was rejected as an unnecessary invention. The Admiralty preferred their optical system above an electric system. Only in 1844, so 28 years later, the Admiralty concluded that the optical system was working insufficient under poor weather circumstances and then they accepted using an electrical system. Finally, electrostatic systems were abandoned in favor of electromagnetic telegraphy systems. Those systems came into use in the early 30s of the 19th century. The first operational electromagnetic system was used in 1833. It connected the Göttingen Observatory in Germany to the Institute of Physics which was one kilometer away to aid with experimental investigations about the Earth's magnetic field. By the way, the predecessor of current ham radio operators were hobbyists that created small copper wire telegraphy networks within their neighborhoods in several countries using Morse code that way. But we will come to that later in this series. This is part 3 of our small series on telegraphy. Today we have a data stream which unsurprisingly concerning our subject is in Morse code 75 Hz. 20 words per minute. Morse code 75 hertz, 20 words per minute. Morse code wasn't invented in the form that it is now mostly used. The telegraph was invented by Samuel Morse, a portrait painter by profession, and Alfred Vail. Vail was a machinist and an inventor. 
It was invented to use for their invention of the electrical telegraph. The original Morse code is now often called American Morse code or Railroad Morse. According to Wikipedia, the original version of the Morse code was developed in the mid-1840s. The word American was added because after most of the rest of the world adopted international Morse code, the companies that continued to use the original Morse code were mainly located in the United States. American Morse now nearly is extinct. It is most frequently seen in American railroad museums and American Civil War reenactments. And Morse code today is virtually always the international Morse code which supplanted American Morse. In addition to that, some societies of former telegraphists use or used to practice this older form of the code on their virtual telegraph networks on the internet. There are several differences between the original Morse code and the current form. In spite of these sometimes quite significant differences, people that use current Morse code now can easily also learn the American code. Often only a week is needed to be able to use it practically. There are also dots and dashes in American Morse code, but in addition to that there can also be in-between spaces within a character, as well as a shorter gap, just as in the current Morse code. In some letters like C, O, R, Y, Z and ampersand, there also is a longer gap. Between words there is a medium gap and a long gap between sentences. In addition to that, there also is a longer dash, which is the letter L, and an even longer dash for the number zero. One advantage of American Morse code is that it is around 20% faster than our current international Morse code. There are also disadvantages. The bigger complexity makes it more susceptible to errors. Most importantly, American Morse code is less suitable for use on cables, especially the underwater sea cables with their long distances. Because so many dots had to be sent right after each other, they tend to merge into dashes. And because next to longer dashes there were also shorter ones, this led to misspellings and misunderstandings, and eventually almost all the world switched to the current international Morse code except for a number of companies that communicated only on the North American continent with it. This was Peter John for the DX Headlines on the Mighty KBC.